crack her open? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna throw it on the analyzer. Yeah, it's even got Ooh. official sealy seals on them. A sealy seal? Seal seal. <laughs> If you listen, you can actually hear it speed up. Somewhere. I just had it, so I just used it. What? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Yeah. I'm surprised I still have that and it hasn't <laughs> been lost. yourself. Yeah. yeah, I need to buy like a dozen of those knives because you know they, they have a habit of disappearing for five months. Oh really? Yeah. We have like three of them at work. Looking in there. Nope. We got a nice die cut insert. Oh HMI hey, like cable. Don't need it though. Can you explain to me why everybody wants USB powered items now? Because it's cheap. They don't want it. It's cheap. This is free. What? No, I'm not talking about the producers. I'm talking about the consumers. Really? Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm like, that's not that easy to plug in compared to a barrel plug. Uh huh. You and know it, what I mean? it'll break off. It, they've been breaking off too. Yeah, they wear out. They get dirty. Well, well they've I been breaking off. I was reading that you know they've been breaking off on people. On this? Yes. I know at least Which three. part? This part? Yeah. So you can't use it anymore. <laughs> Is it getting stuck in there and stuff? <laughs> no, it breaks off the board. No, the connector oh, breaks off. Oh, not this. Not that? this. Yes. The connector just snaps off the board. That's not good. No. Where's the trash can in now? You can put it in that box. I don't have one in the trash can in here yet. Hold up. The cardboard's already... Crushed right here. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that was just from shipping or. Is there anything I kept seeing people do in boxes and they get this in here and try to yank it out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never watched any videos. I didn't realize it was so shaped like that on the I sides. I did. Mm -hmm. I guess when you just see it from the front, it doesn't look so. Well, it looks like an NES sideways. With the black bar. Yeah. But this, the, what do you call that, trapezoid shape or whatever? Oh, yeah. Parallelogram? Something? No. Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Yeah. The sprite thing was interesting. Yeah, the 16 sprites. I like the automatic cheat code insertion too. That's good. That's really uh, handy. Uh huh. Smell like something? Mm -hmm. Smell like electronics. Smells like victory. Yeah. Feels nice. What? This was just genius. <laughs> Uh, Putting the troughs in there. Oh, yeah. I love it. Phillips head screws. Yep, four of them. This looks like the exact same feet from the regular front loader. Mm -hmm. I wonder where he gets them because I want them. You can buy those. Uh, McMaster car. There's flat rubber. Surely that's not the serial number. No, that's the model number. That's the model number, isn't it? Yeah, but it's that N O O O O one. I thought. <laughs> I think that's the whole model. Is there not a serial number, maybe? No, probably not. I was gonna say I like to use that. Uh huh. Do you think that's the connector that you can get from DigiKey? 
I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. He has his own name? It might be. For the price. You might have to wait till we pay it apart. Actually, why 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 am I using this? I should use the green one. Oh, I put it over the way. The old Minotoyo one. Measure the outer two pins and then divide out to see what the pitch is. I just assume that he used an off the shelf connector. I don't think so. I don't think it is. I never, I never really heard anybody talk about it. So. Uh -huh. Remember we were talking about the buttons and you said somebody had a bunch of them? Yeah, so he I bought think them. He, he bought them all. Yeah, yeah, and I figured that one out. <laughs> No, it looks like it's the right connector. It looks like it's the right pitch. It lines up perfectly with that. Well, even the Digikey one looks pretty close. Nah, I can easily tell. Can you? Huh. That makes good. me wonder where you got it then. I don't know. I'm worried about this breaking because mm -hmm. it's so big. Thirteen sixteen. Thirteenth week of twenty sixteen on the circuit board. Break the actual shell. Yeah, it'll, 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 it'll break it out. Yeah. Well, because the uh, FDS adapter, the cord, RAM adapter, the cord off the back um, pushes it yeah. pretty hard. Oh yeah, you're right. Mm. I've seen pictures of people doing that. Yeah, I haven't really seen it. I haven't looked at any of the pictures or anything of people using one of these. I I did see a video, but I think my life in gaming did a good one. Uh huh. I mainly was interested in seeing what the menu looked like because you know no one was really showing that. Mm -hmm. So I found a good video on that. I was curious. Looks like the opening's not big enough for that. Let's see, hit it. Oh yeah, I see why that's breaking off. The shell doesn't. It doesn't capture it very it, well. It doesn't capture it very well. Yeah. This one's the same way, but this one would be fine. There's no problem. It's got a lot of pins on it. But yeah, basically, I guess what's happening is if you press down on it, the board in this plastic acts like a fulcrum and it just pops the um, pads off the board in the back. Yeah, it would be nice if it had a barrel plug on it. Oh, well, what can you do? Nice though. I like the, the grays match. Good texture too. Mm -hmm. What was that acid etch? What they call that? I was always wondering if the four ports was just to keep it. Symmetrical or just to do something nobody's done? I don't know. Oh, well, the NT did four ports. Mm, yeah. Maybe it's the, maybe that's like the new norm is just to have four of them on there. So it I doesn't guess. cost very much more, you know. Yeah, you know, for that for the like the one time every five years that you have like four people over to play Bomberman or something. I never have. Yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> When he runs out of these power and reset buttons, I wonder what'll happen. Right. Maybe probably just go to generic ones. Yeah. Mm. Ah, pretty nice. And we'll have new ones made. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that's true. Kind of expensive. That's a two-shot mold on that. Can't you backlight these? Were mm. you doing that? I wasn't. Someone was. I've seen it done. I've seen. Okay. I thought I've seen it. I didn't know where I saw it. I'd probably skip the two-shot thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no need for it really. 
You can probably just pad print that too. Yeah, make just pad print it red on the gray. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. But yeah, I guess so. When the guy's doing a review on it, snap that connector off. He was moving it, and it just snapped. You know, I have a big desk. It sure doesn't seem very big when you got more than like one thing on it. Gonna be fun getting power to this thing. You haven't added like five strips since you moved. Not yet, I need to. I don't know. Didn't have to use these things. As extension cords? <laughs> That's three outlets. Threw this on my cable box, yeah, and it outputs 1080i. Ah. It looks horrible. It's like all blocky and nasty too. Hmm. Yeah, the video. Pass, what? Did oh yeah, it passed. It's just interesting to see what like a real, you know, like consumer level thing outputs. Yeah. It plugged in. Yeah. No game. happens if we hot plug it? Uh, I don't know. Actually. Nothing. You know what hot plug does? It acts like the monitor was unplugged and plugged back in. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what hot plug does. On the high def it resets everything. Well, it doesn't reset the, the game, but it resets the link. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Do, do, do. Running. Oh, it's locked. Yeah. See what it. Yeah. Oh, it resets the system. Okay, so that works. Maybe like 720 59.94. 60 hertz, 74.25 megahertz. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, it shows up red here if it's um, a problem. Oh, here we are. No EDID. EDID related behavior. 
base structure fail. Could it be deal? No. It doesn't support EDID, so. So it's the orange. It's all EDID related. EDI info frame passes, video format timing passes, so. Is the top one a big deal? No. Yeah, that's no. What was the thing about audio? Kilohertz. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah, that looks fine. Don't really see any problems. So yeah, looks fine to me. So, and yeah, to do the test, you go to HDMI and hit analyze and then that's what it does the whole the, the whole thing. Pass, 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 pass. All the other stuff really doesn't matter. But yeah, looks fine to me. So it should work on everything.